Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm back today to help some of you guys out. I really have wanted to make this video for a while, but I'm basically just gonna go over my experience moving to New York and how I did it. Just kind of like go over everything with you. I know the thought of moving to New York can be kind of like a daunting idea, especially if you're from somewhere like far away or super different. But yeah, I'm here to kind of help you along the way because I know there are a lot of things that I wish I knew in the beginning that I know now. Hopefully some of these like tips and hearing what I had to go through will help some of you guys out for planning and everything. I'm basically gonna break this down into three sections. So planning, moving, and sustaining your lifestyle out here. And I'm basically going over this video as if you're doing this on your own. Planning, definitely very important to plan to move out here or move anywhere unless you're just a very spontaneous person. Yeah, so my backstory kind of here that I'm not going to go into huge detail because I really want to focus on like actually moving and finding like an apartment. My first year here, I came out here for school and that first year... I'm not really counting as moving because I was living in a dorm and like going to school and living on campus, which all of that was kind of subsidized by loans. So I wasn't actually like roughing it in the way that I was totally supplying for myself. I was living on loans that I'm paying off now. So yeah, so I'm not gonna like go as far into that, but my second year here, so basically I went to school for a year and I really, really knew I wanted to stay in New York, but I knew I might not be attending school the next year. I wanted to take a year off and like work and learn and stuff like that. And so I was like, okay, well, I need to find an apartment. And I really wanted to just stay through, but realistically, the best option for me was to go home and save up money so I could come back and be a lot better off. So I decided to go home to Colorado for about two and a half months. During those two and a half months, I worked like two restaurant jobs serving and then also doing YouTube on the side. So I really was focused on just like saving up as much money as I could because I knew I was going to have to come back into the city and put money down for an apartment and all of that and just like have to spend a lot of money to get back here. Um, so that's kind of what I plan for. So I definitely want to say like, unfortunately money rules everything <laughs> around us and it's really important to come out here and feel secure because New York can be really overwhelming in itself. And if you're going to come out here, it's really nice to know that you have some cushion and some money to like fall back on. Um, if something goes wrong or something like that, it's just like good to know that you have yourself covered. So definitely save up. Um, my whole plan when I was at home was like, all right, I know I need like first month, last month and a security deposit so I can get an apartment and then a lot more to like buy furniture and just like be able to move in and um, just like have some money saved up. So I kind of thought that way. So that kind of like just depends on you and your budget and like what you feel comfortable with. Um, so before you move out, I would just say like researching what area you want think you want to live in and like looking for maybe jobs and like planning like that is a really good thing. So moving is the most stressful part. So in New York, apartments kind of move a lot quicker than they do anywhere else. So I know some people who are able to like sign their lease for the next year, a whole year in advance where most of the time, not always, but most of the time in New York, the housing kind of like moves like a few months in advance. So if you're looking for an apartment in August, you're starting to look for it like end of June, July. So it gets, it's really quick pace. So I was lucky because one of my roommates, Isabel, came out here, was able to come out here with her dad and like look and actually see physical apartments. And they came like, I want to say like, three weeks before our actual move-in date. So she was lucky enough to like come, or come up to New York and nail down an apartment, which was awesome. She, I know she looked for some places on Street Easy, which is a website that is really nice for like looking at apartments. You can like search different era, areas and like boroughs and stuff. And a lot of them are like no broker's fee, which is really nice as well because it's just an added on expense. So I'll list some websites you can use. There are a few other ones that you can use, but I've always kind of looked at straight easy because it just is easier to use in my opinion. So yeah, I think she found our apartment on there and we ended up like having to ship the lease like all around the country really quickly because 
it kind of works that you like have to put down a dep deposit on a place as soon as you know you want it and a lot of the times there are other people also wanting that same apartment so you just kind of have to work quickly and it's really good to have like paperwork all ready in advance so kind of like any kind of like documents you might need for like your taxes or like anything like that that you might have to show is really good to have in advance so another thing I want to talk about if you're not, I was lucky because I had already been out here for a year so I had two roommates set up, but if you are looking to move to New York and you don't really know anyone out here or have anyone you can live with, you can definitely use some websites as well to find roommates. I think the easiest situation for that scenario would probably be moving into a place that someone else has already leased is already on the lease and like living in and you can kind of shimmy in there and like already have roommates and just fill up a single room instead of moving out here and then having to find your own place find roommates find like all of that is would be a lot harder in my opinion so you can use kind of groups like there on Facebook there is gypsy housing which is kind of people looking to like fill rooms or like asking people to like go in and on an apartment with them so that's a good way to like find people and you can definitely like feel people out and find normal roommates and stuff that way I know people who have done that along with moving you definitely want to like research your location I live in Brooklyn because it's a lot cheaper to live here basically like the further away you get from Manhattan the cheaper it's gonna be to live um, and depending like what train and stuff you're off of and also I'll note the more roommates you have the lower rent will be um so you're dividing like more of the cost between more of you which is just like a rule of thumb like if you have more roommates rent will probably be cheaper so like a four bedroom will probably be more cost effective than a three or a two bedroom and so on another thing i'll mention that i had a lot of trouble with um is in new york you need a guarantor it's not so weird to like need someone to co-sign on your lease but in New York, it can be kind of a weird rule. Normally, you yourself, I think you have to be making at least 40 times the rent. And then you, if you aren't doing that, then you need a guarantor. And to guarantor, your guarantor needs to be 80 times the rent, be making 80 times the rent, which there's a few problems with this. One, you might not have anyone who can even guarantor for you. Two, if your parents or people close to you like aren't making that much money, then they can't guarantor for you. So it can be kind of a sticky situation. Um, I'll just go into w some ways that you could resolve that. So one would be subletting somewhere. So sometimes you can just move into a sublet, which means you're going into a lease that's already kind of like signed usually. And most of the time, not always, you most of the time you don't need a guarantor in that situation because like the lease and everything has already been done. So you could do something like that. And then also saving up more money to have more money to put up front so instead of putting like first last and security you could put up maybe like six months rent up front i realize that means like having to save up six months rent which is a lot of money but it'll put you in a good situation whereas if you put that up then while you're working here you can re-save that money back so it kind of is like a could be a good situation for you not all landlords do that but I've heard of some scenarios where if you like obviously can give more money to your landlord and like lower the risk of you not paying rent and not having a guarantor works or if you have a kind of like friend like friendly roommate situation and someone is willing to just like guarantor for the whole apartment that happens too sometimes so that can be really good as well and then i'm gonna move into sustaining your lifestyle out here so Definitely want to say like in the beginning, I feel like I spent a lot of money when I moved out here just like buying furniture and just like you just need a lot of things and like little things add up like cab rides of like going to get furniture and like just a lot of stuff adds up. So I would say just come prepared to spend a little bit of money to invest in your future here. I was lucky and I already had a job lined up from where I was working before I left so I could come back and like just start making money again and like which was great for me. Um, if you're worried about moving here and not having somewhere to work, if you're like not moving out here for like a corporate job or something, I think the restaurant industry or like retail are really good places to just like make money. You can still do your own like 
passion projects on the side but be able to pay rent and they're usually like enough money to like get you by at least until you find something better so you can always like kind of rely on something like that if you have experience in either of those two fields um and yeah i just say like overall like, give yourself time to adjust and it definitely will probably not be easy it was really stressful for me to come out here i kind of like moved out here with like almost missed my flight out here for one and then came with like two giant suitcases i had like giant backpack and I got in my cab to JFK and I was going to a friend's house to stay until, for the night until I could get to my apartment because it was new and no one else had moved in yet. And my cab like got into a car accident and I was left like crying on the side of the road with two giant suitcases, having to like rehail a new cab after like the first cab had like tried to make me pay him and like it was a whole shebang and I was left sitting there like why the hell did I move back? <laughs> like, this is a sign from the universe, but it wasn't, and things can go wrong, but you just have to be resilient, and yeah. But yeah, overall, I'm so happy I moved here. I've been here for like two and a half years, and I think it was one of the best decisions I've made in my life. I've grown so much, and it really is just such a beautiful city to learn so much from um but yeah if you guys have any other questions for me i am happy to answer them um you can either dm me on instagram or just like comment below i usually am pretty good about getting back but i will see you guys so soon with another video